Thank God it's Friday. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Nima Akasha Zibiru. Happy wedding anniversary. Happy wedding anniversary, Mariah. Yeah. 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 10 years. This is a trend. Yeah. 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 I'm still on that you now. 10 years. After 10 years, what kind of you are now? Mr. Bob, use all great teeth. She's well used. We can see She's well used. She's glaring. So I'd like to wish Mr. Brown, Afolabi Brown, Femi Afolabi Brown, happy wedding anniversary to you and I. Many mm -hmm. more years. Amen. Yes, and keep us. Amen. No, wow. Say yes, it's fine. You keep being day, so yeah. Come so to thank God. Yeah. No, wow. You keep being an inspiration in the. No, wow. Ask me for our. Ask me for our. Allora wago. Yes, Allora wago. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But Abi Express Road was on lockdown throughout yesterday. My husband was saying to me, let me drive. And Madam Sabi Sabi, I looked at the map and I was seeing blue and I was saying it was free. But mm. I, she took me out of the traffic this morning and I just humbled. Mm. <laughs> you know, like, when you are looking at the traffic on the other side and you are just sober. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I'd like the people constructing the Badagri Express Road to please take cognizance of the fact that the service lane and the other lane must have interchange. Mm. You, must be, you must be able to find a way out. Mm -hmm. The way those boys have uh, you know, created to there and they're collecting money, they have been government's mm. money. Mm. 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 So, yes, well. How are you doing, uh, Tope? I'm, I'm very good. There was a birthday shout out um, for someone who was clocking 85. Did you take it? Oh, yes, oh, I didn't know. We didn't see that. So, um, just yesterday, 18th Thursday, February 2021, Alaja. Moria Moshele, Clock 85, wow. Wow. of our show. Wow. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Elijah. Big deal, Elijah. Ah, ah. Uh, uh, many oh, more I, years in good health. Wow. Yes. And I have Chuku Di Belu Chisom. Uh, he lives in Guinea. Uh, please help me. Give my darling hubby a happy birthday celebration on February 19th. Yay. Oh, happy oh, birthday. Happy birthday. Long life and good health. Let him know his sweetest surrender. That he's my sweetest surrender, and I never forget marrying, I never regret marrying him. Oh, That's from his wife, so sweet. as I will go. I want to nice. say something because um, this morning, one of my, my kids was telling me that today is elections in my children's school. school yes. um, and somebody was promising them palliative, uh, stomach mm -hmm. infrastructure, said that they would give them 100, um, 100 naira voucher uh -uh. to vote for him. And I'm like, eh? Well, said, is this how you want to start your political career? <laughs> this person. You know, and my son was like, no, I'm not going to vote for him. I'm going to vote for the person I know. His younger brother is in my class. I said, that one too. You are voting for yeah. them. Party. Party. People Party. you know. <laughs> but if you know, my daughter told me that, because my daughter is in the same school. My daughter says she's only voting for the boy. Mm. She's not voting for the girl. Okay. And I said, why? Like, like any of the girls. She said, they used to... Um, they used to, they what they they used to mm -hmm. make her feel bad mm -hmm. oh. that they weren't really friendly to her. Oh. Oh. Women. So she remembers them. Not supporting <laughs> women. Mm -hmm. like, ah, ah. Wow. It's but, but, but it's not it's not like the idea of the campaign. Of the campaign. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of the campaign, the poster, because you start engaging young children to start mm -hmm. thinking mm -hmm. political. My mother and I said, well, it's not our own decision to vote. Said, but mm -hmm. you can, my mother, like, you, you can vote for the president mm -hmm. and governors. We don't vote there. Mm -hmm. We only vote for our school prefect. So They're wearing our Lumia dresses. Yeah. You have not given my dress, mm. everything I'm wearing is a Sponsored. gift. My jewelry, gift, earring, gift, dress, mm. gift, shoe, jewelry. Fabrics, all these is bling bling. Lumia, is it Lumia? It says it was Lumzi. Lumzi, Lumzi. 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 jewelry, yes, accessories. Yes, yes, I'm wearing it. The dress is from um, Aduke. 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 I love Aduke. it. I'll take a full picture of my shoe, fat feet. Like, Let God go. bless you. Uh -uh. Thanks for blessing. All of you that you're yeah, just all blessing. Done you're all done, girl. Yeah, I'm doing busy. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm just organizing. Yeah, business is good. Business is good. It's just that I'm just realizing that uh, whatever you're doing, just stay there. Mm. Because there was a time there was no sales coming. Nobody was calling. Nobody was sending mm. messages. And I was like, hey, are you sure? Are you <laughs> sure I'm doing I'm in the right place and everything? Mm. And after a while, it will peak. And after a while, it will go down. So mm. it's just for you to understand. Season. Yeah, there's a season to mm. it. Understand it and know mm. that um, you are here to stay. Consistency mm. is what will keep people. And I, was re I remember that last week, I sold a lot of my <coughs> very first talk that I felt that nobody mm. was looking at. And mm. all of a sudden, I started getting calls. And people were asking me for those old mm. ones. I'm like, whoa, OK, don't give up. Just keep, yeah. just keep doing this and, you know. Okay, so, so I tried to see if we can find any other shots out, but I didn't have okay, any shots. I have one, yeah, I one. think it's, it's old. I uh, wasn't around on Thursday to take it. Okay. Um, so she's shouting out to her son. He's son in six. And um, 
Was he, he yesterday? He was for yesterday, yes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't around. Um, so oh. his name is um, Abiola Alade. Okay. And his mom, Camila Mokpelola Faleti. She wishes him happy birthday. Happy yeah. birthday. Plenty, plenty prayers. The latest birthday, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Okay, we're going to start with the nation. Insurgency may persist for 20 years, says Buratai. Q4 GDP growth takes economy out of recession. Market shout, uh, markets shot in Lagos to honor Jack on Day. Relief coming for victims of herders and farmers' conflict. Nexing targets 1.2 trillion balance sheet in 2022. Okay, what is Bura, former Buratai, Buratai saying? So our former uh, chief of army staff was in front of the Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs yeah. to, you know, to defend the, mm. the, the new appointment, appointment as, a, as a, a diplomat. So he, he was addressing insurgency that he claimed to have been won. He said that, no, that this is beyond the military warfare. He claimed to have been won. Yes, now, he was the one it, who was saying yes, that, um, that we have technically, <laughs> they will technically today, tomorrow, they say defeated everything, everything. But now he's saying that. In another 20 years, we cannot defeat insurgency, insurgency. Wow. if we do not provide a certain infrastructure to the areas and communities that have been affected by insurgency totally. So, mm -hmm. I'm mean, I mean worried about putting mm -hmm. square peg into round mm -hmm. holes concerning appointing the military. Someone that just left military as a diplomat mm -hmm. just feels That's a, a bit. different issue. That's yeah. a different just issue. Feels mm -hmm. a bit. That I, I can argue for. Mm. Because yes, if he's posted to a country that his expertise is of, of use. So, I mean, so National said that mm -hmm. military action is just one aspect of mm -hmm. the problem. Mm -hmm. And this is one mistake we have been making, believing that only the military can solve it. it no, the military cannot solve it alone. It, that we need that economic mm -hmm. factors mm -hmm. to be sorted to address and, and the other social factors. So I think it makes sense, earlier. yes. Uh, I think it makes sense because yeah, an, but, an idle land is what the devil uses for workshop. Yeah. So if people are uh, gamefully mm -hmm. engaged, Okay, okay so yeah, so I wanted to talk nation. about um, the National e um, Economic Council. Yes. Mm. Uh, they have um, agreed <clears throat> yesterday that they are going to compensate all the lives and all the uh, people who lost their properties during the farmer headers uh, crisis. They've said they are going to give a good burial to those ones who lost their lives. They are also uh, saying that um, it's very important that in you know, creating security initiatives that the non-indigents of the states and the um, you know minority residents will be in, you know incorporated into that security outfit to mm -hmm. give proper representation to everyone, mm -hmm. and they are you know advocating that we should look into the um, that's not the open grazing but the modern livestock farming should be considered as well, and they are appealing that um, everybody needs to work together. The, right. We understand that the forest reserves are being used by criminal elements, mm -hmm. and nobody should be caught living there anymore, so that we know. The people yeah, who are causing all of the mayhem. Okay, moving on quickly now to the punch. Niger, um, Zamfara, whole talks, troops, locate students, workers in the forest. Picture here the bus that turned over wiki tourists in Plato State. <coughs> Worker falls from eight story building estate, tackles mm. Lekki Gardens. Huh. Fanny Kayode visits Igbovu, canvases Nigerians to be permitted to carry guns. Kwara sets up panel for hijab agitation in public schools. Fayoshi, liability to PDP, says ex-National Assembly member. Experts rate economy as weak despite exit from recession. And NAVDAC approves AstraZeneca <laughs> for the COVID-19 vaccination. All right, which story the are we taking? Human Lekki, interest. Yeah, Lekki yeah so a construction worker, Stephen Magilo, uh, according to the story, met his untimely death while he fell off um, the Lekki Gardens while it was under construction. So according to them, they said uh, this is like the third time it's happening within a space of uh, seven months. Huh. And that any time they, you know, they complain to the authorities, the authorities, this is the chairman of the estate saying that mm -hmm. any time they complain to the authorities, they find a way to look the other way without really responding. And um, that uh, though the, um, the construction company has said that the person who died wasn't directly working for them, he was actually contracted to work for that firm. What, but they had condoned of off the place for like a week and reopened it without, you know, con Including so their investigation. Certain safety measures must be put in place in constructing in some kind of building. So if you are doing a two-story, 
and the higher the flaws, the more important the safety, safety measures. measures yeah. So yeah. if you have lost as many oh, people oh, oh, using yeah, it as you yeah. have lost in this construction and, you, and it's painful when you have the departments of government not doing their mm. so the physical planning and urban uh, regional planning department that should be you know checking and yeah, seeing why or, or cordoning off or even marking x or even marking for demolition and asleep okay what what is Femi, Femi Femi yeah. they visited sunday mm -hmm. at the mo chief sunday at the mo we know him as sunday Boho, and he was going there to like sort of um support what he's doing in solidarity and the solidarity for what Sunday Sunday, Sunday Bo is now seen as um, a Yoruba activist. Mm. I know he now, he, during that um, visit, he mentioned the fact that he believes that the best way to protect Nigerians is to, to get Nigerians have access to AK 47. Like mm. everybody should have access to this power rifle so we can defend ourselves when issues happen. But that wasn't the only thing he said. He also said that um, uh, he disagrees with what. Um, Governor of Bauchi State said, also said that we should reduce mindless killings of local citizens. But of all of them, I don't agree with carrying AK-47. Yes, and he also Honestly. reminded us that uh, Sunday Boho is not against Fulani. He's against <coughs> those who are were perpetrating mm -hmm. the killings that happened in that community. Okay, moving on now to Vanguard. 24 hours after Kagara school invasion, bandits kill one, oh. injure mm. two, abduct ten in Niger State. Yeah. 18-year-old SS2 students arrested in school with locally made pistol in Cross River. Hmm. COVID-19, NAFDAQ approves the Astra, um, Astra Zeneca Oxford vaccine in use in Nigeria. Headsman crisis, Abdul Salami warns governors against inflammatory remarks. And Akeri Dolu created a motorcycle to kill Fulani Mieti Alal alleges. How can he say that? Ah. Major oh, headline. Yes, so major headline. Sad, very sad. Um, again, in Niger State, there were, um, an abduction occurred of, in, in the village called Shiroro local government. In a local government called Shiroro local, where they abducted residents and killed one person again. And um, the, gov the government of Niger State has also released the list of all those 42 kidnapped, uh, abducted from the Kagara uh, Secondary School. Should I call their names? Do we? That, yes, please, uh, so we have a list of them. The person killed was. Sorry, I didn't capture that, but they include Jamila Issa, Shem Joshua, Abbas Abdullahi, Issa Abdullahi, that's the student, so Ezekiel Danladi, Hali Rushwaibu, Mahmuda Suleiman, Danzakar Dauda, Abdul Samad Sanusi, Bashir Abbas Suleiman Lawal, and Abdullahi right. Adamu. And they also include some other, mm. lots of them, and the teachers that were kidnapped, right. along with their children as well. Mm. The long yeah. list. Yeah, you this 18-year-old girl who was uh, caught in the university, <laughs> secondary school, sorry, with um, and, um, a pistol, a locally made pistol. So this girl is from um, a secondary school in Kot Ewa, Cross River State. Hmm. And um, according to the story, the girl was asked, she dyed her hair hmm. Uh, hmm. during the uh, festivities. And then when they resumed, they asked her to make sure that she cuts the hair and the teacher seized her slippers so that when you your her sandals when you cut your hair you come back you get your sandal so but they notice that she's been rude there's this um, um mm. attitude she's been giving to mm. them so they've been she's been under the radar they've been watching her so she finally cut the hair came to school and was speaking to them very rudely only for them to search her bag they realized first of all she was drunk she oh. had uh, a very expensive phone in her bag she had the pistol in her bag and then investigations started and they realized that she's been sleeping with a 60 year old man friend who has been giving her the uh, gun in fact they use the gun to play masquerade and mm. she's been sleeping with this man in her own house the mother is even aware of what was going on i, I think it's this girl again? 18. Huh. I think it's very important that parents pay attention to what their children are into. No, and don't let children, 18, no. 18. Don't let the children get out of hand because I think this is almost out of hand. Yes. So a lot of factors must have contributed to how she, drunk. Uh, what she Terrible. turned out to be at 18. Mm. Please, I want to take the okay. story of Abdul Salami. Yes, um, let's Abdus, take that one. Yes, Abdul Salami, the former head of state of Nigeria, General Abu Akar, said that um, he's speaking against the back and forth between governors, specifically between Governor Akere Dulu mm -hmm. and Governor ba of Bauchi State. Mm -hmm. And he was speaking on Arise TV. He's also the chairman of the committee, National Peace Committee. And he said, we cannot have this. We mustn't let Nigeria um, degenerate into 
inflammatory statements from yeah. one governor to the other is the height of et 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 ethnic yeah, crisis. And we mustn't let that happen. For peace to reign, we don't right. want war. We must guard our speech. Mm -hmm. That's from all, yeah. all leaders must guard what they are saying. Right. Moving on now to Daily Sun. Governors raise fund for military to fight insecurity. IPOP panic as army deploys soldiers, helicopters in Imo and a number of states. Nigerians exit to recession. We talked about that early. Act fast to save Nigeria from another civil war. Khan tells Buhari. And Edo is not ceding any land for cattle grazing, says Obaseki. Okay, um, Should I go with of the 36 okay, states? Yes. Hmm. They are simply contributing a portion of the excess crude account, the yes. Natural Resources Development Fund, and the Economic Stabilization Fund to provide necessary equipment for the military. So usually, I think they get a portion of all these funds, mm. and they would take their portion. The funds that the told them that the, the, she wasn't going to share, I was going to keep, hmm. but they insisted that they must share. Three, now that they're now saying they want to divert it for funds now. So now that uh, crude oil has gone up, it's not about taking the excess and solving the problem that has brought us to this point for 60 years. Yeah. No refinery. No. We put out to donate it. You know, creating diversion. Remove subsidy first mm. and build a refinery, refinery under an emergency. It's a okay. security emergency, economic emergency, okay. all the emergencies joined okay, together. Let's take one more so, yes, yeah, so the um, uh, military has launched, um, would I call like an attack on the camps of the Eastern Security Network yeah, we in um, so fast Olo and Osu community in Imo State. And they, they, in fact, they've been hovering around the state with uh, helicopters, trying as much as possible to destroy all their camps. They got information that they are set up camps in certain areas and they went there to destroy the camps. Right. Ohanez Ndibo is appealing to the military that this is not what you're supposed to be doing. The people who set up the Eastern Security Network, in as much as we know that the governors have their own security at work. It's about community policing. They are mm. trying to, you know, protect the lives and property of their citizens within the, 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 the state. So why Me do you why? want to deploy military? Uh -huh. Over hundreds of military men across, in fact, women are crying, uh, children are crying, though there has not been any deaths recorded, but then it could escalate it's and something else will happen. It's yeah. intimidating. And, and I think these are free this. citizens that should be allowed to protect like themselves. To the government has failed us in protection. Now, we have security <laughs> outputs in different aspects. We have Amoteku yes, yes, here, we have the ESL, so we, we have the one the um, 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 uh, state government in uh, the South East are coming together. It's all about protecting I, ourselves. I, so I, the military should focus their attention. See, we, we talked about um, uh, which state? Niger State. Niger state. Niger state. And the next day now, another yes, kidnapping no. happened. Why don't they really, deploy really. that military See, listen, to that place? I, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying, that let us do this. Well, let us do it the proper way. Mm -hmm. We've been asking for state policing. Yes. Because you cannot, I don't, I'm not, I'm against empowering unregistered militia. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because yes, we've we seen them, politi politicians have done it in the past, mm -hmm. where yeah. we have all these boys with, with guns. Mm -hmm. After the political season, mm -hmm. they still have the guns yes. and they still terrorize citizens. Yeah, but this so is different. So we, attacking yes, have done legally. Yeah. The one itself, it should be done the proper way. Not yes. that you just come together and say, I am now XYZ network. Mm -hmm. No, let's do it the proper way. The, the government of the Southwest came together but do you, 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 you agree with the show But chasing them you, you with military. The show uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank I, I'm you. Not, I don't agree with the show of power. I'm just yeah. saying that. Let us get that. Um, let's, let's, let's they should dialogue with them. Let's dialogue with them. Yeah. There's an emergency okay. in Niger State now, and that's what should be more important. Okay, let's go on a break. When we come back, hmm. yesterday we started a conversation hmm. on the late Dr. Ajayi and his, um, uh, and, and Helen Press Ajayi, who... Uh, whose story have been around social media for the last week. I want to learn from this experience because lots of people are in this position and it's important that we get the right um, facts out there. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So yesterday we started a conversation on the Helen Press Ajayi story. Today we will be looking at another angle, analyzing the problems associated with polygamy. Uh, we'll also continue in the discussion to look in at it from different angles, especially because in the last 24 hours, um, sources close to the families on, on all sides have reached out to us, um, trying to give us some clarity on other details that many of us, even we, us and those in the public, are not aware of. So. Um, there are two issues I like us to do now, and because we are not here yesterday, mm. I'd like to get you and Tokwe's <laughs> initial thoughts on the story as a family, what happened, and what, based on the information we have. Mm -hmm. And then, <clears throat> as usual, we create our own context. And the idea is to see if <clears throat> somebody who is supposed to be, who is not a legal wife, mm -hmm. who is a partner with somebody for many years, does that buy you the right to be a wife? Does that buy you the role of the wife? Does that buy you that 
uh, authority of a wife because you've been with somebody for so long. We'll have that conversation a bit later. But let's let me hear your initial thoughts on this, um, this the family story and what 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 do you what the, how did the story come to you when you when you heard it? Based on the video that surfaced first that yes. uh, at the burial that dust to dust right that was I uh, saw, I felt that both of them were very disrespectful to the dead. Mm -hmm. Both of them, the first, this acclaimed first wife and the ending priest as well, were not um, respectful to the dead. Because at that point of death, it's not time to join issues, to be vindictive, to be, you don't gain anything. <coughs> so even though I saw them take out the spade from her, if it was me, I would step aside. If it takes them 100 people to get to me, I would respect that dead the way I know I would want to be respected at my death. Mm -hmm. Islamically, we don't see, we don't do dust to dust. It was only the it's only males who go into the graveyard. I was allowed to see the digging and the space and, uh, that we paid for, but at the time of, of uh, internment, I mean, when they placed the body there, it was only my brother and my father's adopted child that you know they did that. So, because there were two males mm. and his brothers and every, all the males. So me that I was outside, did I disrespect the dead? Mm. Did you okay, die? Let me, let me, we'll come to that. We'll talk about your thoughts. Okay, so um, my, my first opinion is this is why I don't support polygamy. <laughs> that was my first, like, this is why I don't support polygamy. This is why I don't support um, not having closure. Because by my own nature, I like to push um, tough discussions away and evade them. And I have learned that when you don't have those discussions, it will come and hurt you. Mm. This is what happens when you don't have closure, when you don't discuss and thrash mm. the entirety of a deal. Are we divorced? <coughs> are we married? What's what the are we doing? Of our relationship? When we don't have such like confronting conversations, it is not convenient for me, but I believe the root of this issue mm. is that many things were just left, left. to hang. Mm. So everybody is now coming in to show strength mm. when the person that was like seemingly holding things together left the scene. Let me, let me then correct both of your own impression. I wanted to hear your own thoughts, but based on the facts that we have, let me start with you. Nobody was fighting anything with Helen Press. Based on the video I saw, the, 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 because the video that went that surface mm. is different from the video that I saw. The video I saw showed the first wife, because the pastor of Shepherd Hill Baptist thought he was the one that was in charge of that ceremony. Mm -hmm. And he called the first wife. And she put her dust to dust and returned mm -hmm. the, 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 the spade back into, into the, the bucket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the first, the, the first child came forward to come and do her own right. Mm -hmm. That's when Helen Press now squeezed her way through Thank it. Thank you. Like, no, I should be next. And then they cautioned her. And that's to where she was almost, almost shoved side back. I like, saw the first not, wife, the yes, video. Almost shoved her back. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, who you be, yeah, Nani? So, so, they, they were so, disrespected. So, the so, so that's where, so it wasn't as if they, they had a tussle. There was no tussle. Yeah. She wanted to take it from her. That's yeah. one. Yeah. What do you call it? But secondly, Secondly, Helen Press was not married. This is not a polygamous issue. Hmm. We have to be very careful. There's no polygamy here. Really? Because the first wife was married by law hmm. to this person. Mm -hmm. The second divorced. person, or the only thing that divorced. connects them, they are not divorced. They are still together hmm. till so that's tomorrow. The that's why so I said the second, the Helen Press mm -hmm. is just somebody who was with the man and has one child with the man. Mm -hmm. Now, so there is, and in the Yoruba mm. culture, there are two different things. Mm. You are married. I, I, I hear that. that. What does that means mean? that once you have a child, you have, yeah, but, no, 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 but that's the African culture. But, yes. in, but in the African culture, who really buries the husband? Is it the wife or the children? Let's be clear. Mm -hmm. I let me clear that one. I know that one. Because your husband also have died. I know that one. It was the children. My, 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 our, the, no. the children is the one that actually buries. So in hey, real, real African culture, that is, let us be very clear. Can you just define what I said there? And I think that it's still very relevant, even more relevant with this information you are giving those that are just watching. You, if you don't define your relationship, mm. if you don't put structure to your relationship, you will suffer. Mm. So a woman has invested 25 years of her life. What other people say it was not the community? Well, was, everybody she knew her. She was in that relationship and her name was changed to so, Ellen Press Ajayi. Wow. She was in that relationship for 25 years, but they did not put a context mm. and legal structure to that relationship. Who for changed me, her name to Ellen Press Ajayi? We because must, because according, according to the that we have, according to the that we have. Everybody watching, you said the, the, the aim of this show is for us to draw lessons and experience. Yes. We'll come to the lessons If you part. are in that yes. space, yes. you must always define what you are in. It is not by changing your name. It's not nomenclature that will mean it's not legal. So we'll come to the lessons later. But I want to Name, and the story. It's important yes. that we have the right information out there. Let's trash yes. the marriage part. Yes. 
So in Africa, mm. we leave our religions because mm. we know our yes. religions. It is not, it is not uh, mathematics to mm. marry. It is not one big deal. Mm. And impressed by, her name, by the fact that she was his companion, had a child for him, is and her name, in his lifetime, <coughs> she added a jai to her name. She's married to, she's okay. married to him. So yes. based on in our laws, we do Pause for a second. Mm -hmm. Based on the information that we have also, because as I said, close sources to the family called us and we had the conversation. Mm -hmm. to in, in, in the courts, when this matter went to the court, mm. how did she define her relationship with the husband? She said, I'm a companion. Legally, that was what she put in the document, and we have evidences to that. Mm -hmm. Because she doesn't have the audacity to say, I am a wife, because you are not married. Okay. In the legal document, but, yeah. she, she defines herself as a companion, yes, not yes, but, wife. Okay. What's the responsibility? What, what should the companion do? No, no. Nah. So, I'm just saying, that, in that African man, setting, yes, if you that are man, there. If that mm. man was mm. incapacitated yes. and was sick, and was unable to make any movement. Who was going to be responsible for that? No, you haven't. Oh, come okay. on. Pause. Pause. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, because you are here, I told you. Busy, <laughs> come, come in. Come in. Yeah, so, um, um, so she defined herself as a companion, but yes. the courts recognized her as part of the people who are supposed to bury this man. You know, they were in court for over 10 months hmm. where they were trashing this issue. And according Let me to tell the you source, why. hold on. Okay. The other sources we heard were like, uh, she wasn't there all the time. She was going and she was coming, whatever it was. But the courts, with all the other people that were coming, that they claimed were coming, the courts recognized her alongside the wife to carry out this Let me tell you why that happened. No, why did it happen? Because when the man died, she got the, birth, the death certificate. And once you have the death certificate, is it, you are the one that have the estate. So because we'll she was with him. So for the real family now to get access, she won't give them the death certificate. Mm. So they need to go to court. For evidence, that's why they need the coroner's report. When yeah. you get to court, you need to show evidence yeah, that they, dis they, they didn't go, go to court they because they went to court because they disputed the cause of death. Exactly. They disputed the cause of death. Yes. The cause of death was part of the requirement to determine it to give you a death certificate or a new death certificate. Mm. It's part well, of they the disputed it. That's why they, they had disputed it and she was arrested according to the story. I read the wife's mm. um, uh, post, account. her account. Mm. She claimed that, you know, she didn't know during the lockdown that her husband was ill. She tried to reach him. The children tried to reach him. He didn't pick their call. Who dealt with her? Mm. When she and let an impressed lawyer should go and learn customary law, and mm. this is a recognized law in our in our country. Mm. Mm. That's the problem. When you base your your action in court on only the marriage act, you create problem. There are mm. several mm. forms of marriage is recognized in this country. country. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation, married, and yeah. then we'll move on to we'll, we'll pack That's their story you. in a few minutes, mm. and then talk about it mm. in a different context. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Staying with us. So, okay, so we, are, we before the break, we're talking about, oh, she's married, she's not married. But the truth is that you as a lawyer should even know mm -hmm. that you can't have two marriages. It's impossible, it's impossible for you. Two legal two marriages. Two legal marriages is impossible. Mm -hmm. I want to. So you have, but your position is that, oh, the second wife, because she has a child, mm -hmm. she's, she's automatically right. traditionally and culturally no, married. No, no. Companion, when we did this issues, even as a student, I was shocked to find out. And I, I, I went to see now whether I will have any precedent on bigamy here. Now, foreign tea. Our laws at the time when that bigamy was copied from England was clashing with our culture. Men were polygamous and they were allowed to marry more. So even if, though you were in school and you married under the marriage act, the men will still show up with their women. And family would institute tradition at the barrier. Mm -hmm. It's okay. not new. So let us assume, for the sake of this conversation, mm -hmm. okay. that okay, she's there, she has a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For the child we're talking about, the first wife has five children. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two medical doctors, mm -hmm. one professor, mm -hmm. one, uh, I think. Wait, 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 these are in your culture. Mm. Oh, 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 yeah. mm. oh, when you have five children, you have, you have five children, and the, the youngest is 36 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. You come X amount of years after, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Your child is 22 years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are still a child. Mm. In the culture of Yoruba, mm. at that burial, mm. it is the children that is burying their father, really, mm -hmm. not the mother. So, so the, even, you, you, as the, you as the 22 year old girl, you have mm. no business in this whole space, really. But they allowed you inside here. I'm just telling you based on the culture. Mm -hmm. But you, you can look at it that doesn't Omolomonje, absolutely, mm -hmm. no doubt about that. But in the Yoruba culture, it is the children, really the mother really, really usually sits down. Let me and me I think, think mm -hmm. if the mother usually sits down somewhere where the children do the last rites. Mm -hmm. The oldest one, I don't know how old the, old, the oldest one is, but the last child of that first wife is 36 years old. 
Your own child yes, is born. No, she so do. William, no, put it in a, put it in I think, I think um, oh, okay. in tradition, I don't really know much about the Yoruba tradition, but I think in tradition, there's usually a hierarchy that is followed. Mm -hmm. yes. And it starts from the wives and it comes down to the children. So yes. we could have, even if there were 15 wives, we would have finished with the 15 wives, then we start from the first wife's children, Thank the you. second you wife's children, it. the third wife's children. That's Yoruba culture, I'm sorry. Okay, so Yoruba culture. That's Yoruba culture. You Yoruba culture. Wait, wait now. now. So, the, 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 the fact that you, the you know. wife was given the respect, she, she, see, oh, she has been MIA, she was not with this husband, whether they were divorced or not. That's also, it that's was, also no, false. Hold on. That's also false information. Oh, that she was, they yes, were not living together. Were they the living together? The man, were they living together? Were they living based together? Based were they living on together? what? The first wife had written. I'm mm. going by. I'm going by what the first wife had written okay. in the as a tribute. Okay. The man had left. I don't know. Except for security reasons, maybe okay. he left the home. Okay. Whatever reason, he didn't disclose exactly what the reason okay. was. But the man comes to her house almost every other day to check on her. Okay. They had a relationship. When her own mother died, he was there. Mm. He keeps in touch with his children. Anytime he travels abroad, he sees his children. The children come and see him. Mm -hmm. According to a text message from. This, uh, this our I'll impress mm. to the children that uh, it's unfortunate I'm going to be meeting you for the first time. You that you'll be claiming 25 years, you don't know children. Okay. You, do children you cannot say, I know you. Okay. Mariah, so, you, how are you now, wife? Do you know, I think the family of the of disease do not know you. So I think that cause. story is false mm -hmm. or it's flawed because we had the story initially that this man was actually living in a hotel for about 10 years. That's for one side. Before, I mean, everybody's bringing their side. Okay. So when issues like this happen, people want to play the victim. Okay. So from this side, you hear a different story. From the other side, you hear a different story. Mm -hmm. We heard that this man stayed in a hotel for 10 years before meeting this Helen Prest. And when this man left the home, mm -hmm. at what point was he coming to see you every day and then see you and go back home and stay with his wife when every other person who saw I him around fish. saw exactly who saw him around saw him with this Helen pressed fish so at what point up. does he go to work and come and register Something first and then come home up. see see let me tell you the most important thing is mm. the man the uh, uh, the this woman the man comes home to meet at night. Nah. 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 No, no, not nah. the wife. No, nah. not the wife. Nah. So, the person where you work can't finish all day. Come, come, has come nah. chill. Nah. Not nah. the wife. Nah. So let's nah. put it in. Nah. So, so let's that's just, not that's not let's take another that 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 angle to it because really at the end of the day we can always take these things from different angles. Angles, yeah. What happened? So a man has died. Society, and if we if we group society, if we say seven percent of society knew this man had a relationship for years mm. with him pressed. There's no contest about that. No contest. Was a public, they were a public couple. Nobody's mm -hmm. contesting that. So mm -hmm. they're contesting, no. talk about, let me put it in perspective. Did. We're not contesting that she was, she was not in relationship with him. Okay, what the are contest the contest is that Really, in the culture of the Yoruba, you have no business at, all, at that bedroom. So, no, 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 no. If you're not family, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I disagree. No, just hold on. If you're not just family, hold on. Never, eh? no. I hold disagree. On, hold, on, hold on, please. Because if there is no context that there was a relationship, and somebody that is the legal wife yes. was not at the, all through lockdown, you know lockdown, you are locked with your family. Yes, yeah, so. Who were you locked down with? With you the concubine, not with the concubine. Uh -huh. And then the concubine was with you till you died. You died. Then somebody that was not locked down with you is now over thirty-five years. More with oh, you. Over 30 so there years. is there is something okay. fishy going There's on. Fish but fish. if we now pack the hmm. case of what is fishy aside, legally somebody was dead till hmm. the death, and somebody got the death certificate. That person has the right to be at the burial, I, I, whether I, I, you bring culture or YK, not. Let me go to YK. Let me clear. YK said it here yesterday. Because she also, she's in a relationship with her partner. Mm -hmm. Even if God forbid anything happens to her partner tomorrow, she says she might have been and stay in her Because house. it's let a choice. Finish. Let me finish. Because out, as, a, as, a, as a Yoruba person, she understands that they, there's a document between maybe the person A and person B. Mm -hmm. She has no business at that barrier. No. She says she'll stay in her house. No, no, no. She'll not. She'll no, want the no, man. No, no. She'll no. want the man. She'll 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 want the man. If they are using the diggy, the children will cure behind their money. You want to use the No, wait, the, now let me just finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just explaining. Proverb, they proverb, will create, no. The diggy means that you're it's, where you, where you lie, where you, which person's lying. Mm. You will cure behind your, your life. Okay, yeah, wait, 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 w
You see me, the other mother disappearing. The children disrespected their father by disrespecting his second wife. Thank no. you. Let me explain for you now. It is not his second concubine. No, it's relative. The second concubine. Anything you want to call it, call it. You will call it prostitute. Yes. Was the one taking care of our two loved ones. Who was his father? You should have known that. Recognized relationship. Yes. We went to. I will maintain my father's relationship till mm. I die. Yes. Even mm. if you disagree with me. My marriage is part of, of my father maintaining his own father's mm. relationship. That's how I married. As a sign so of I will respect. maintain my father till I die. And that's what they should have done. Okay. Let, me so, finish, let me finish this point okay. because I've been waiting. Mm. Now, mm. what is proper is for them to allow their, as their mother pours hand, honor their father because your father's wife is your mother. Yes. Mm. Pour her own and step aside. And the children will take their own in line. Her child will be the last, last one. Last child. Out of Thank respect you, and sin to her seniors. That's how Life's not hard like that. You know they now came to the barrier there. They come and be dragging things that they did not drag. They could really not fight over this man. They are so, fighting over his dead so, body. Okay, also, there's, there's a part of this story that you're not putting into, into consideration. Which, right? which is? Two parts. The fact that this same Helen Press was separated from this man for two whole years. She didn't show up until September before he died. We didn't know that. Yeah, they're not settled. Settled. I'm telling you, settle waiting. <laughs> they're not settled. You're claiming 25 side. years. These 25 years you're claiming off and on your children. You According know, to listen, one side, though. Let me finish. Hey. Hey. Let, let, you let, 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 press, side, let Helen yeah. Press come and play her own side. She has given yeah. her own side on the yeah. on social media. Yes. We read her own side. Yes. Yes. Children of the this disease have yet to say their own. Mm -hmm. Now they're telling us through um, their, their other sources, saying that this Helen Press is claiming why. 25 years is off and on. Okay. Two years, you do not show up with my father. Mm. 20 years before he died, you show up as wife. Mm. Now, when he was in the sick, where, where was he um, on the sick bed? You didn't tell anybody. They kept calling the man. The man was dead. She didn't tell them then that the man was in the sick bed. When he now died, this is a privileged information I will not even share. <laughs> because she did something that they have evidence that she did. Mm. That she doesn't even know that they know. Mm. But ones. the point I'm trying to make is that mm -hmm. this woman was not recognized by the children or the family as yeah. a wife. So you have no, really, if I was, if I was the first wife, you have no business at you know that. You know what? You can't do that. Absolutely. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? You see, let me explain Boss. to you. Now, I heard that she was required to do DNA for her child mm. and she refused. Now, your father didn't require his wife to do the DNA, to do the DNA in his lifetime. Please, wait till be your own. Ah. Let, me let me tell you, you think the courts are stupid. Yeah. They should go to court and drag this inheritance. They will be shocked at what the judges will oh, do. He, okay, in his ahead. lifetime, acknowledged that child as his own. Mm. End Absolutely. of story. Yes. Nobody's discussing yeah. that. See, let me tell you why uh, it doesn't fit into YK's mm. case. If uh, YK's partner's children mm. are matured at heart, they will be the one to call her yes. and not that. Yes, you have to come here. No, they will call her mother to do the right to her love. I really wanted to pack this story, yeah. but mother, <laughs> we, have to, we, we want to help other people who are in this situation so that they don't face this thing in the future. Mm. Okay. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Okay, so we had a lot of arguments in the, ah. in the studio, but the, the, the point of contention now is somebody who gives birth for a, to a man, I mean for a man, mm. does that person, when not legally married, have a right to play, pay the last respects? Because I was saying earlier that if I wear a, a, a lorry, like a, a lorry kicker, what do they call it, I mean somebody, a first oh, wife, no. who is stop up first wife, I wouldn't even allow her close to the burial because, mm. not because, not because, <laughs> She doesn't have a child for my husband, for my late husband. But because I am the legal wife, my children are grown, and they are the, this whole barrier is for them, not for you. That's my own stance. But the, the conversation is that not, but we're, not, we're, not past, we're not packing the, this, the, the Helen Press story, we're packing mm -hmm. it to one side. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about, do you think a woman who is not legally married, and the man you are with is not divorced from his first, first wife, does that, the fact that you have a child for him, does it give you the right, the wifely right? Let me start with UBC. So I think we should put things in perspective. Yeah. Now, in as much as they are not divorced, yes. you were away for 30 years for whatever reason or whatever excuse. Somebody else was playing your role. Somebody else was nurturing this man. Somebody else was taking was care of this man. That person has paid her dues. That person has invested her years being with this man, taking care of the man that you are fighting over now. You didn't know what he was eating in the morning. You didn't know how he slept. You didn't know if he was on BP drugs. You had no inclination because you had left. You, you had left your responsibility for whatever reason for somebody else to handle. That person who handles that responsibility should be respected no matter what. Now, there's this thing that happened in my place. There was a time a family friend died. The first son was not, uh, the, the woman had a son, you know, but they, were not, they didn't marry her. So when they needed to do the burial, the elders went to look for the mother. 
Mm -hmm. And they did a wedding ceremony between the dead man and the wife because they, they cannot displace them. any child that is given birth by that man. So mm -hmm. that's a, a form of, you know, giving respect to whom respect but is remember due this and giving honor to whom honor mm. is due. So aside from the fact that you are at the receiving end, you are the wife, you feel they did not marry you after all and everything. But who, if you need to be, if you want to be sincere to yourself, who took care of him when you were not there? But we, we were all here That's when Erelu Fernandez, Erelu had a child for Fernandez, but the man never accepted her as his wife. So before, because you have a child doesn't make you wife who? Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't make you wife. No, the, having a child doesn't make you a wife. Simple. Your child is the child. Yes. But being a companion makes you a wife. And even more of a wife. How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, to come to me, come to me. Back. Here is where I stand. <laughs> a certificate does not make you a companion. Mm. You can be married legally, but you leave the apart most of your marriage. Then on the day of the burial, you, you now show up. I say, I am the legal wife. You take that certificate and shove it where nobody will see. Thank because you. Because in actual fact, the relationship of that man's life mm. was with somebody else. Yes. As and you are shoving it. And as you are shoving it, Papa, shove it. Tell the culture you are shoving it. Because even if they're hanging there, because until they're saying, I am the companion. Mm. Legally. I'm talking about this relationship. Yeah, I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking legally. You that you want to shove up mm. for somebody's marriage certificate. Mm. That's a powerful thing you're shoving up. Because mm. that power, there that's no marriage. Marriage. Hanging, 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 marriage is more than certificates. Thank you. The marriage is more than certificates. I am telling Many you. people have marriage it's and they don't have a certificate to, as, as a show oh. of it. But if you have a certificate, do you have a marriage? Mm. There are two different two things. things. And the point I'm trying to make is that don't water down the document of marriage. Because the first wife is what has the right to anything that my owns. Auntie Heli, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not talking about Heli again. The concubine, the mm -hmm. companion mm -hmm. in this situation, mm -hmm. has no, the, the court doesn't in any way recognize that person. Nah. It is this woman that's carrying document. So that she's wasting her hair. Yeah. So, 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 so you are there. Thank you. Listen, 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 no. No. Listen, 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 you are there. Listen, 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 Giving daddy breakfast, mm, going to dinner, mm. servicing daddy. Yes, you, you, yes. you mean nanny? You mean yeah. nanny? You mean back to your father's house? Yeah. 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 Where can the document? Let me get everything. Where are you? Where are not your lawyer? That's wickedness. Yes. The court of moral, I, it is wrong. But let me go back. Did the man give a will? Marriage, marriage, a marriage might be legalized and mm -hmm. binding by a certificate. Mm -hmm. But the true test of the marriage is the relationship that comes up in that have, marriage. Yes. So some people have certificates binding them together. Mm -hmm. But as a couple, they've seen that they cannot work together. But they mm -hmm. don't want to divorce. They go separate ways. You know, there are burials that take place. And they say, this man is not your father biologically. Mm -hmm. But he's my father by every right. I'm going to pour sand. Yeah. Because and they will say I didn't know any other father. This man was my father. And they will allow him to pour the sand. Yes. Yes. So in honor of who the man... People that come to the burial are those that have relationship with, with the him, man. one way or the other. And those that care about that the man okay, cares about. Come to you, and yeah. that's really focused. We're, we're not talking about it in the So let's context. break up yeah. the elements. First element, that man was a polygamist. Mm -hmm. End of story. Forget marriage act. What he did when he was early, when he was in school, when he was a young doctor. In his late life, the lifestyle that he lived. And one of the it's things polygamy. that the court usually decides with is your lifestyle. Is that he was a polygamist. Mm -hmm. End of story. The first wife knew to respect his lifestyle. Mm. She stayed out. out. She did not fight him. Mm. She shouldn't be fighting after his no, death. After his this death. fight's a property fight. Oh. There's nothing there. <laughs> no. You don't Wait, fight him. Let me explain my submission to you. Now, a woman that the man have divorced, that he did not accept, that born for him, she, I accept my child, I do not accept you. You try to put me with pregnancy, it's a different matter. But recognition is legitimacy. Mm. Recognition is acknowledgement. In his lifetime, that woman was, was allowed to go, come, go, come. Everywhere. She had free access. Mm. She was with him everywhere. She's his wife. Mm. No, I don't know. No, wait. Now, you don't, you don't, now I'm coming legal. I'm coming legal. Now, right. under the administration of uh, 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 state law that we have, yeah. across states, and I know four states are amended before I graduated, and in prayer, and a child will come. Well, that, that, no, 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 no. I'm just explaining. <laughs> The people like her, the companions, the people, the people companions. like her, we come under their section four. Mm, which come is... and show our... our the, uh, you know, you, the first state no, was... What is this wait, let me the first state was Quara State, where women started bringing their certificate out, say, I married under the marriage. I married, the House of Assembly went and amended their law and created that law. That's Everybody it. that can show dependence, link, line to this person in his <laughs> lifetime, yeah. come and claim your own, even when there's a win. Mm. Do you understand? So... The people are knowing our custom, uh, knowing our societal rules, and, 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 and our, our, our lawmakers were on top of their game and providing laws that would recognize what we do traditionally yes. and our lifestyle as Africans. Is that, culture? Mm. that law, so, I must commend okay, the House so, of Assembly. So, of nobody's disputing what you just said. Hey. We're saying that when it now finally happens, mm. 
when dust has is coming Set to dust, mm. who takes priority? Who takes who 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 is who so is the world? Who is the world? We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Hierarchy, no. Yeah. 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 Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. So we're going to be wrapping up very soon because the truth is that um, somebody, I mean, I have some scholars that have sent me a few messages. Somebody <laughs> said that um, it's similar to a case of Bola Homudashiro. Their case is similar to this where the custody of his body was given to his wife, Poluke, his legal wife. He tried to live in mistress for many years. Mm. The mistress cannot be wife. Another person said that um, a concubine, a, the power of the concubine diminishes at the death of the, of the man. Mm. The children own the process of the burial, not the concubine. Omonio Siwa, that's how we pray in Yoruba. It's our children that will bury us. Abu Rashid Lawa is saying that marriage is between the man and the woman. Documentations and legality are secondary proofs of their marriage agreement. The greatest proof in Yoruba tradition is bearing children. An absentee wife has no say. Ibai Kwoju La Amore. Ebu Sobu says, thanks for always being, that's BCU, but thanks for always being objective with your views on the show. I listened to you the last time polygamy was discussed and you stated clearly that you don't support it. But that didn't stop you from being objective on the discussion ongoing now. Faith in Yellow says, Mariah, what if the man willed his property to the companion? What if the first wife refused to divorce the man because she wants to own the property after the man's death? Yeah. So this was a personal angles. story. Somebody sent this. <coughs> when my father died, there were issues with his will. Thanks to my wonderful stepmom and fantastic relationship with my father's lawyers, family went customary, and some mm -hmm. property assets were divided into three. Mm -hmm. The three women he had relationships with mm -hmm. at different yes, stages of his life. Mm -hmm. My elder brother, who my mother trained and brought up as his uh, mom, <coughs> was not in the picture as well as the class one. My sisters and I are the ones our moms were late. His wife, she had no issue as class one. It is interesting to watch my brother claim a mother, his mom, is, uh, is, uh, that he was ashamed of all his life because she <coughs> wants property. Mm. So property, see, this, let's take this thing. The issue, let's this, not move this no, to the property. Let's, let's not go to property, property first. Property has not shown up in any so, of yes. these property communication outside. Yes. However, we know what usually causes <coughs> the reason for recognition mm -hmm. is because we want to be uh, we, we want to be brought up when there is a pro property sharing. Mm -hmm. and that, that, like, Because I'm coming to the end of that, we, the show is almost over. Yeah. Let's start drawing up lessons. Okay. It is, once you have property, you must have a will. Somebody, um, a, a few weeks ago, is a general. He bought like three acres of cashew land for me. And he said, I want to, can I have detailed address of where <coughs> this place is? Because I want to update my will. I was so impressed. Because mm -hmm. every time I acquire any new property, mm -hmm. I include it in my will mm -hmm. with specifics of who is getting what. Mm -hmm. And I think it is very, very important that we don't, male and female must have a will. Mm -hmm. Because when we don't, we have issues like this would come up where litigations and quarrel will happen after your death. It is important so that you have peace of mind even when you're gone to have a will that clearly states your But wills are still contested. People but contest. Contested. Every day. See, but in this situation where we also have reports, okay, I didn't want to go back to this. So let's not yes. go back to the matter. So uh, for me, uh, this issue we are trying to solve right now wouldn't have been happening if this man had cleaned up his house before leaving. And it's very important for because there are still people who like to get into polygamy tomorrow. It's a way of life for them and they want it. You need to be able to tidy your house before you leave. You need to be able to bring all the factions together. If you cannot make them be together, you, you should put something down legally mm. that will the protect will. every party yes. when you're not there. You see those conversations you are running away from? If you don't have it, they will disgrace you at your death. Like and trust right me, now. you will not have peace there. So it's very important that you sort out your issues, you bring the family together, you, you see, hey, that justice we talked about, was it not how many weeks ago, mm. that publicly said, these are not my children, yeah. I had to do DNA, yeah. and we were castigating him for going public. Mm. This is the kind of thing he wanted to avoid. Know, avoid. Mm. So if this man had come out to say, whether you're a legal wife or whether you're not, or you see this, this person, a... I recognize her, and if anything okay. happens to me, yeah, she should be respected. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, I, need, I forgot to mention the numbers on the screen. 0812705 We have 0913907694. I sincerely apologize. Uh, we have a caller. Are you there? Hello? Yes, I am. Please, mm -hmm. you're live. Go ahead, please. Oh, um, good morning, everyone. Good, good morning, morning ma'am. Yeah, I've been following the program, and uh, I just have um, one question to ask. If Mr. Ajayi, at whatever point of time, he, he tried to 
to spend 25 years with that um, other lady. I don't know what made him not to legalize it. If he really values the relationship, he should have 25 years or 30 years is a long time right. for any man to make up his mind on right. a woman. So for him not to have and got to this stage, I don't think um, mm. it's really is really something we should be talking about. Mm. Because Thank you, patience, for that. Because if he wanted it that woman, yeah. he should have. Yeah. And uh, yeah. he said that he yeah. the first woman. Patience, so stay, that stay to that point. And I, really, and I want to build on that a little bit. Thank you very much. Because there are some strong head concubines mm. that have that they have their, they, they, are, they are more stubborn than the first wife. Where they come in and they want to take over. Maybe the man, you hey, hey, this man, this woman, if I give her any more rights, she's going to um, overpower my first wife. That's, that's, a, that's, 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 that's a problem. That's, 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 that's a problem. That's a problem. But they, they, for 25 whole years, yeah. you're with somebody and you don't marry her. That's a yeah. problem. He could yeah. have tried to marry that, her and that other one refused to sign divorce papers. Did you think about that? Men can cause confusion. I'll tell you, my sister. See drama. Men can cause confusion. See drama. After five children. She will still win. The patient dog eats the fattest bone. Mm. Um, Lawrence, Lawrence Bone is saying that Takwa is being sentimental. There is no sentiment in law. By law, Nigeria has different forms of marriage. Okay. And if she did not do so any, let me take very sad. And I'll come to you, Nenima. I'm mm -hmm. not your final thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for calling. Are you there? I think we have Maria. Yes, Maria, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Ooh. You lost that. Let's rush mm. in the calls now because we totally missed it throughout mm. the show. Yeah, yeah. Talk the about the let me take a final call. So Tochi is saying that Murai is extremely biased regarding this topic. Try to <laughs> have an open mind. And I would like to base it on that because most times when we uh, close things and box them in certain places, we are mm. confused. Yeah. Most of the times when you see issues like this happen at burial, it's all about uh, after all I have been through with mm. you. I will not after gain all anything. I have labored for. I've, if you open your mind, you will gain. I learned a big lesson when my own family friends had to sort out their father's details on his 13th year anniversary. Mm. They found their father's child that was exchanged and brought him home and claimed that child as their sibling. Because beyond all this, the family is important. If he did not Medical. disregard that child as not his child during his lifetime, he paid her, he was at a graduation, mm -hmm. he recognized that child. Mm. What is your Who gave them the right to Our father her. has died at this point. Mm. The most important thing is that we are seen mm. to be uh, surviving him in the most respectable way. Minor, exactly. Yeah. And that burial comport yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're, if anybody is claiming right, family did not. And there are traditional ways of doing this. Now, I wish these people were not just Yoruba, they were in Shekili. Hey, they will change. learn how they do tradition. The way that I saw it, and he's rich. <laughs> the only hey, child, you call you me. <laughs> when we come in and do this, guys. Come on, are you there? What's the big deal, dear? You're not qualified to talk about your back <laughs> See you there. Hello, are you there? Hello, Hello, good morning. Are you there? Bello. Please, your life. Go ahead, please. Yeah, my name is Bello. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, my, I'm a first time caller. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yeah, uh, Morayo, marriage. Yeah, marriage is marriage. Mm. Holding certificate and having a child to a person you are married to that person. Yeah, yeah, I just want to tell Morayo, yeah, that whoever has a child with a man, can it be the way. Way. Okay, I think we're having issues. The calls are coming in the, and we're having... The German, yeah. We need to get... Um, Mara, may, so may I say mm. something mm. to women who have divorced? I think we, we, we need to start supporting women. Now, this man has caused this confusion and he has died. Dead. And you people are fighting yourselves. If you have not been in the house with him, you have separated, maybe remarried or whatever happened, you have been away. I think as a woman, if that person who has been taking care of you, of your husband, is your daughter, would you want to give us stress on that day? You have lived your life. Mm -hmm. It has scattered. It has ended. I think it's respectful to allow the person who was the last person to stay with him, honor him. Let, if she decides no, not to hold like on, let me, hold on. Like hold on. let me finish, yeah. please. Absolutely nothing See, like that. I think it's, we, we need to start supporting each other as mm -hmm. women. Yes. I'm talking to women we are now. Colleagues in the white team. We're colleagues, though, honestly. Mm -hmm. So if you notice that me, I've not been there for 20 years or 30 years, and somebody else was nurturing this man, I would give you that respect. Mm -hmm. Now, if you choose to, ah, 
Uh, sister, you are the first person, you know. Let me, don't worry. Come and do this. Then it's not, oh, no, no, hold on. It's not honorable. Mm. That's what. Think, but you see all this fight. The fact that you attended the burial at all. Maybe this fight is the last time. Maybe they have been fighting this fight for his lifetime. They could not settle the matter. You even came. They allowed you to wear your own dress. You came Which for the burial. Which one is allowed you? Yeah. You came for the burial. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They fried. No, no who is allowing you? Let me say this the first wife. Wife. No. 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 you. Why can't you always share this story? Why can't you always share this story that her, her mother endured a lot? Mm. Her mother suffered for her, husband, her father and endured a lot while um, the late fella went through the drama of her married and essential yeah. wives. But because she stayed true, mm. she was the only legal wife. Mm -hmm. She stayed in and, the house. And she stayed up all... No, no. Yeah. It's not, and, she stayed on, and at the end of the day, when property was being shared, they gave priority to her because yeah. she was the legal wife. That one is wife. a different issue. Right? That's, that's on one end. On the other end, every woman that is... You are, your title right now is companion. Mm. If you are a woman, you are companioning, you are just doing a belle janyong. Simple. Get a you certificate. Better get simple. Simple. Yeah. Simple. I can come here on the show and simple. say, certificate does not make you married. But better when they go to court, you are on your own. Have so go it. and get a certificate. I'll let you. I'm on the last one. They didn't disinherit the last one. They didn't disinherit the last one. Don't open your eyes. Don't belle janyong. Let me take this final call. Good money, are you there? You just be roasting fish for another person. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, I totally agree with uh, this Tanima. Is he a strong man? It is the president that took two or three wives. That is why Quran says that if you know that you are, you are not going to be satisfied them equally or attend to them equally, please stay with one. It is not, go it's, it's not so easy like that. We are, uh, people, we men, we always think that marry one or two, three wives, it is easy. It is not easy. Hmm. And then, yes, why I agree, one. Why, hello? Yes, I can hear you. Why I agree with Sister Nima is this. You see, whatever happened, the, 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 the woman that is already in, in the house, supposed to need to be accept whatever came out of that uh, concubine that uh, Sister Sopo said earlier. Because if you don't accept it, one way or the other, the family will accept that child, whatever child come outside that. The family will accept it. So, yes, you take care of the man, and then he went out and get, get another woman that does not know to you. Nothing you can do. Finally, the family is going to accept it, whatever come out of the Can I take care of your brother? You need to just need to accept mm. it. Thank All right. You. We have to wrap up, and now, fortunately, we have to wrap up. I think um, on the final, it's important to remind our viewers that this is a show, and the objective is to get different perspectives. I heard somebody saying that Umarai is being biased. It's not about being biased, it's about taking a stand because we need to have different stands yeah. to have mm -hmm. a show. Mm -hmm. So somebody takes a stand and that person takes another side. So we have a it rich falls, conversation. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the objective. It's not like I have a, um, mm -hmm. a, an agenda or I have um, a leaning towards somebody. No, the mm -hmm. idea is for every single person to take a stand. So people's that opinions are represented. Understand different people's perspective on mm -hmm. this matter and then I have a richer conversation. Mm -hmm. That's the objective. That's all we can take on the show. Yes. See you tomorrow. No. See you See Monday. Monday. <laughs> 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 you will come. <laughs>